Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to explain how to use mid side compression in FurComp 2, which is very, very easy to do. I'll start off by bypassing this instance of FurComp 2, which is on the bus of a backing track. So let's listen to the dry backing track. And now let's listen to it with mid side compression enabled. I just bypassed and re-enabled it there and you can hear that it makes the sound feel a bit more solid. I've tried to level match it as closely as possible with the makeup gain, but the compressor kind of moves with the music and makes the track feel coherent because this was originally mixed with nothing on the master bus. So let's recreate this from scratch. So I'll disable that and I'll put in a new instance here and we'll recreate it from scratch. We've disabled the previous instance of Furcom 2, which is where I already had some mid side compression set up. And we're going to start again. The first thing I'm going to do is set the sidechain high pass filter to 200 hertz so that the compressor responds more similarly to loudness to how the human ear would respond to loudness or perceived loudness. This is not exact, you can play around with this, but that's just a value that I like to use. Critically, the next thing we have to do is we have to make sure that the two channels are completely unlinked because in Furcom 2, we have two channels left and right or in mid side mode, mid and side. And then let's enable mid side mode. Now, so that we can hear what mid side really means, let's set the side chain balance all the way to mid. And so let's just compress the mid, but I'm also going to set the ratio to two and the knee to 10 as we want slightly gentler settings for bus compression. So let's try this now. So as we just compress the mid, we see that the signal becomes very wide because we just have the side uncompressed left over and we're not doing any makeup. Now let's just compress the side and see what that sounds like. As you see, when we remove the side by over compressing it, we get a signal that is just almost mono. So now let's set the balance to somewhere in the middle and try and find a balance where we're compressing the mid and the side roughly the same amount. Bear in mind that usually the mid is a bit louder than the side. So to get this balance correct, we might want to compress the mid slightly more, but let's try it. So let's maybe compress the mid a bit more. So I'm over compressing a bit there so I can see the balance. Maybe I'm compressing the mid a bit too much here. So there we have it. Compressing the mid and the side fairly gently to kind of make the track feel a bit more co coherent. The compressor moves with the music in a nice way. So that's with it on. Now 
We'll listen to it a bit more now and I will toggle the bypass. When the bypass is enabled, obviously, there's no compression, so no compression now, and it is compressing. Let's do a little bit more compression. So it moves with the music a little bit. This is with the compression bypassed. And this is with the compression enabled. I'm doing a little bit more than I would do normally just to make it obvious. But really, I would probably want to do about this. So thanks for watching, and I hope that was useful. And I hope you got some good ideas for experimenting with mid-side mode with FurComp 2.